It seems we underestimated you. You have no idea. Hmm. I don't like games, and I don't like surprises. Where's up, Citan's Obisus? The shadows aren't hiding, are they? I sense my fellow dream priests. Do not mistake their cockiness for safety. We could have killed you already, but I thought it would be nice since you helped us gain the information you needed. You'll not get a second chance. You should have stayed in the dream world. You would have had a peaceful end to your existence. Now you will have a slow and painful demise. Would you be so cocky if the elders knew this plan of yours? What do you know about the elders? You're human. Even if they told you, your puny mind wouldn't comprehend that. Maybe you should open your mind more. Because I don't think you know who I am. Who I really am. I don't care. Enough talk. Now you will feel my power. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have ignored what was inside your heart. Ah! No! What's the matter? You don't like that? How did you do that? It is impossible. The dream priest cannot be aiding you like this. I told you. You should open up your mind a little more. You mock me. But you should know that even if you somehow were getting power from the dream priests in your mind, there is a reason they had to imprison me like they did. They feared me. You have no chance. I will toy with your mind and keep you alive enough to witness my ultimate victory when Raluazoth devours the universe. Ah, no! What? This is not possible! Ah! c you're incomplete. And now we have the upper hand because he once again were led by a dark heart. <laughs> you think you can harm me like this? My darkness, this is your nightmare! We will always prevail! Are no match for up sea tons of beasts. What? No! What? No! What have you done? I don't hear the dream priests anymore. My mind is foggy. Did you think we would be surprised again? We know who you are, Mario. We figured it out when SeaTac had you locked away in the dream realm. What is going on? SeaTac, meet SeaTac. Mario is a piece of you that was ripped away after you corrupted the medallion. You're the same, yet different. And you both have the same memories before your schism. Of course. I will make the dream priests pay for this. It is their last effort to rein me in. But they don't know there is a reason I defy them. It is my parents. Our parents, Mario. Do you know why we were left to become a dream priest? Because we were born from an elder and a dream priest. A forbidden love. Because the elders believed balance could only be achieved if they and the other nine races were to sacrifice everything. But something sparked. And we were the result. A dream priest with elder blood. And you know what happened to our parents? They were stripped from the order, became mortal as a consequence. They lived in happiness but gave us up to the dream priests because they believed we had a purpose and they didn't want us to watch them get old and perish. It took me a long time to figure out what this purpose was. The elder blood flowing inside me. But I realized 
It was revenge. Revenge on the order for their Kellich traditional views. Revenge on the universe for forsaking their love. Don't you see, Mario? I buried you deep inside me, and the medallion finally freed me of the prison the elders left with me to try and stop this inevitable conclusion. And I will end this. Destroy the elder part of me and finish the schism once and for all. Simtek, we have all the data we need, so do what you must with this useless creature. Our mental block won't hold back the dream priests for long. Now's your chance to rid yourself of the weakness of elder blood. Meet us at the palace when it's done. The dimensional points are activated and the mechanism is working. The Forbidden Palace will be fully unlocked soon. Go and start the preparations. I will join you shortly. Goodbye, Mario. Please tell those pitiful humans their precious trophy will be with us. No! You mustn't let Rallo Azad rise! It isn't right! Our parents did not want revenge. They accepted their fate. Join me again so we could stop this once and for all. Silence! If you're really me, you'll understand this is the only way for true balance. I will accomplish what the Order of Light fails to. Without the other dream priests, you won't be able to stop us. No! Welcome to the quest for the Green Bowl, the rise of Ralu Azov. And then there were four. That's right, we're just two weeks away from crowning a new Green Bowl champion. Three of the top four seeds remain, but we did get one upset in the quarterfinals. There were actually two upsets in the consolation quarterfinals based on the seeds. But the drama was definitely in the championship bracket in the quarterfinals. Both matches ended up going down to the end with only 7 points separating one and 10 points separating the other. Let's jump right in and get to the championship bracket. And we begin with the third seeded Multiple Scorgasms hosting the six seeded Siamese Dreamcats at the Secret Sea of Galanis. crazy matchup. The Scorgasms actually came in favored by the computers and that remained even after Thursday's results but things changed a lot on Saturday with a lot of wild games. The Dreamcats still needed to step up on Sunday and they did as they held on for a 109.14 to 101.26 win. 
the Colts defense came to play and ended up being the best player in the lineup. And that is with a terrible second half. But seven sacks, two interceptions, a fumble recovery, and two touchdowns was enough for a huge game. Then you had Dawson Knox, a tight end that finally did something good with 98 yards and a touchdown. Those two performances on Saturday helped limit the damage from Josh Ellen's 304 passing yards, 77 rushing yards, four touchdowns, and a two-point conversion, which was good enough for nearly 44 points. The Scorgasms also had a big game by the 49ers defense with 13 points allowed, three sacks, and a fumble recovery on Thursday. But it was the noon slot on Sunday that put this match squarely with the Dreamcats. Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard combined for 177 yards and a touchdown, and Devontae Smith had 126 yards. Andy Dalton threw for two scores, and X-Factor Christian Kirk outdueled Amon Ross St. Brown 92 yards to 82 yards. The Scorgasms had an injury to Jonathan Taylor and several underwhelming performances, though James Conner did step up to make the final more respectable with 91 yards and a touchdown in the afternoon slot. The Dreamcats move on to take on my number two Dark Ridge Dreamers in the semifinals, her second semifinals appearance in her league career, while the multiple scorgasms will settle for the fifth place game. Three seeds are actually now two and six overall in league history against the number six seed, a mini curse as it were. One interesting note is that one of the three seeds to win was the Siamese Dreamcats in our inaugural season back in 2015. The four versus five quarterfinal is, of course, a lot closer historically. In this season, fourth seeded AR's Ayahuasca plant hosted fifth seeded Green Acres at the Peaks of Dracos. This one surprisingly came down to a score late in the third quarter on Monday Night Football, winning A.A. Ron Rogers to A.A. Ron Jones touchdown pass put A.R.'s Ayahuasca plan ahead as they pulled off the 101.06 to 91.9 win over Green Acres. That means that both the number four and the number five seeds are four and four all time in quarterfinals history. The big boost for AR's ayahuasca plant came on Thursday with George Kittle going off for 92 yards and two touchdowns, including a 50-plus yard score. David Montgomery added 91 yards and two touchdowns as the other big game, and both were needed as X-Factor Miles Sanders had a ridiculous day with just 29 yards and a lost fumble. Ouch. The Broncos' defense did end up with 15 points allowed, three sacks and three interceptions, and Jones had 126 yards and a touchdown, though he did lose a fumble. Rodgers had the one touchdown. Green Acres looked like he wasn't even going to make it a Monday until Joe Burrow went off for 200 yards and four touchdowns, with most of it coming in the second half of that game. Najee Harris added 86 yards and a touchdown, and X-Factor J.K. Dobbins had 128 total yards. The down game by Stephon Diggs and a lack of overall touchdowns ended up hurting here, though the Saints defense did have 18 points allowed, four sacks, and a fumble recovery. AR's Ayahuasca Plant will now take on the number one elite Mother Tuckers in an all-league rookie semifinal match. Green Acres will take on the multiple Scorgasms in the fifth place match in two weeks. And of course, we also had two consolation quarterfinals going on. First, number nine Loki Lebowski Thor hosted number 12 the Stellar Bitches, the Salt Mines of Thorgard. The bitches came in with all of their wins on the road this season, and that trend continued as they earned the 95.74 to 54.82 upset. Derrick Henry finished with 163 yards and a touchdown, and Dak Prescott added three touchdowns. Hines also scored, and the Chargers defense had 14 points allowed, four sacks, and an interception. Delvin Cook was the lone bright spot for Loki Lebowski Thor. He had 190 yards and a 50-plus yard touchdown though he did lose a fumble. The Stellar Bitches move on to the Consolation Semifinals to take on number 7 Risky Business and moves to 4-4 four and four on the road this season with all of those wins coming away from the Temple of SeaTac. Lebowski Thor will be playing for the number 1 overall pick in 2023 in the Dick Butt Bowl. Number 10 Uncle Justy hosted number 11 the Clash at Demon Head at the Water Volcanoes of Colbeck in the other Consolation Quarterfinal. 
And we had another upset in this one as the Clash at Demon Head defeated Uncle Justy 98.3 to 84.86. Trade pickup Latavius Murray was huge here with 142 yards and a touchdown. And McCaffrey added 138 yards and a score. Johnson had a nice game out of the tight end position with 67 yards and two touchdowns. And Lamb finished with 127 yards. Tannehill did rush for a score, though he was injured, and Etienne had 127 yards, though he did lose a fumble. Uncle Justy had two touchdowns by Tago Vailoa and 104 yards by Kamara. Chase also reached the end zone, and Maher and the Eagles' defense combined for 22 points. In the end, though, some other low scores in the lineup hurt in a big way. The Clash at Demon Head will take on number 8, Remember the Titans, in the Constellation quarterfinals, while Uncle Justy will take on Loki Lebowski Thor in the Dick Butt Bowl two weeks from now. So there you have it. Two weeks to go before a champion is crowned. And all of the semifinalists will need to step up in a big way because injuries and expected oddities that come our way every week will most likely make these last two weeks just absolute bonkers. And that's the content for the show. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll preview the semifinals and talk about the Forbidden Palace tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, salut. Check out the updated playoff bracket before you go.